a Derek a five 0 defeat at Barnes today. Just to, just your overall thoughts really on the game. Yeah, it was a difficult afternoon for us. It started, um, we lost a goal from a set play, uh, a free kick, and we didn't react uh, well enough at that. Uh, then the second goal um, is an own goal. Uh, the third goal is a cutback and we don't pick up it in the box. The fourth goal, uh, they have a couple of overs and uh, get their goal. And in, in the fifth goal as well is, is from a set play. So we didn't defend uh, well enough uh, today. Um, we didn't obviously attack well enough at times either because um, we haven't been able to, to get a goal. Um, we changed the team today. We went to, you know, up front, uh, hoping that would give us... Uh, good momentum going forward but uh, unfortunately we didn't do well enough uh, at the back Conceding early it's been a bit of a problem away from home and that, as you said that's really the last thing you needed today It was the last thing we needed uh, I think that um, you know uh, there was space over the pitch at times but I've got to give credit to Barnsley because they're a very good team and uh, they passed the ball well they picked up second balls and uh, they found solutions to the problems. There was a number of times where we got into good areas and uh, we don't find the right pass. And uh, that happened uh, on numerous occasions today. Sometimes you've got to hand, hold your hand up, to, haven't you, and say, you know, Barnsley were better than us today, they were a good side. Yeah, I mean, I've had to do that a number of times this season. And uh, I know that's not easy for, for any uh, Morecambe supporter to hear. But unfortunately, um, we are coming up against some really tough teams. and. The players are trying, uh, they just, at times, you know, they do get deflated uh, when uh, a number of things go against them. You know, the first goal uh, could have broke away and, and, you know, the ball could have broken a different direction. We might not have scored, you know, the own goal for the second and these kind of things are hurting us. You came back second half, you had a couple of half chances yourself and you say how things just turned. You had a chance for the keeper spilled it and... Just the ball just didn't fall for you and it's just these things keep going the wrong way yeah I mean we hit the post as well uh, in the game but uh, listen we've we've tried to to attack and uh, we've come here to to try and do that today and uh, it hasn't worked for us going into the game today how hard has it been as a club this week with the with the off-field incidents and the not getting paid and things how's that affected you yeah I mean it's been a difficult week for us Um, we obviously found out on uh, Monday evening that um, the money wasn't going to into the uh, the bank accounts of the staff and the players uh, and then late yesterday afternoon we found out that uh, we were going to get paid and uh, it has been a difficult week for the staff and the players but what I've got to say that um, credit to them um, they've been uh, really good you know, as characters, as people and uh, continue to work for the football club I understand the result today uh, isn't one that uh, anyone would have wanted but um, they are trying their best Six games to go now, a defining weekend ahead. Good Friday, Easter, Monday, it's always a busy and important weekend. Yeah, I mean, we play Plymouth at home and then uh, away to Portsmouth. and um, It's, uh, you know, two difficult games for, for different reasons. Uh, Plymouth are trying to get out of the division and, uh, you know, Portsmouth are trying to, you know, push as high as they can. But for our sakes, that we're trying to get the three points to, to try and keep us in the division. It was this time last year we just got that fantastic little run towards the end of the year and it just made a difference didn't it? Yeah I mean it'll have to make a, a bigger difference this year um, you know the points total that uh, we've got at this moment in time uh, the points that we are to the teams above us is is, is not great and uh, you know we have to go on uh, a very good run to do that Team sheet say had a uh... I didn't have Jensen Weir in it. What happened just before the game? Yeah, Liam Shaw picked up an injury uh, in the warm-up, so we had to put uh, Jensen Weir in, who, who wasn't going to be in the starting eleven, uh, and then Ryan Cooney was added to the bench. So how big a blow was that for you when you prepared all week for that, that situation and that, that happens last minute as well? Yeah, I mean, listen, Jensen's played a lot of the season. Yeah, he's not a defensive midfield player, uh, but, uh, you know, he's come in there and uh, performed well this season. He's played that many times this season, so it, it wasn't too uh, concerning for us. But towards the end of the game, I noticed, you know, you'd lost 5 0 away from home, but the fans, they, they applauded you all off as well, and that shows great result from them as well. Yeah, it's very difficult for uh, the supporters because they want to see their team doing well and winning. and. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, at this moment in time, it is really difficult for us, not just on the field, but off the field as well. And uh, all we're doing uh, is trying to work as hard as we can uh, for their football club. So last one on Friday, case of everyone being together one, once again for that big, big game against Plymouth. 
Yeah, we have to be. You know, but I, I would say that uh, as a football club, uh, we've been very strong and resilient over many years, and uh, that has uh, taken us through uh, the hard times. And at this moment in time, uh, as a football club, uh, it is very difficult. And uh, we're in a division that uh, we've only been in for the second season, and uh, yeah, we're, we're trying hard to, to stay there again. <laughs>